It's really special stage. You need to be classic rider for this stage. In the end, uh, if you want to win Tour de France, you need to be really complete. For uh, Jumbo, is sure, we want to do both. For us, it's also the stage victory. And then we, we look where, where Van Aert is. Of course, we want to attack, but uh, there can happen so many things today. It was all yellow on stage four as Jumbo Visma played a cold, hard strategy to win the stage. Now, are you ready to rumble? The Pave beckons. It's going to be chaos. Welcome to stage five. I want to go in the breakaway and just uh, be in front of the, all the chaos. So I think it's also just a way to avoid all the stress in the peloton. And then you're in front of the, if the gr is a small group catch, you can still do a good result, I think. The breakaway, no doubt the safest place to be before tackling the cobbles. Taco van der Horn managed to make it along with Edveld Boas and Hagen and the irrepressible Magnus Court. They were joined by Alexi Gujar, Nielsen Paulus and Simon Clark, who was in the break when the tour came this way in 2014. The six leaders quickly opened up a gap of more than two minutes. There were 80 kilometers to be covered before the first cobbled sector, but you could still feel the tension, especially back in the main bunch. Wow, Van Aert, the yellow jersey is down and he's there with Stephen Kreiswijk. Van Aert is a little bit shaken here. Oh! Wow, Van Aert has crashed and nearly crashed into the back of the team car. Not ideal for Wout Van Aert, one of the favourites today after his incredible start to this Tour de France. He was also second at this year's Paris-Roubaix. A brief calm before the storm, but it was soon time. Here, Here we, we go with the first sector. Welcome to hell, the cobbles have arrived. Quick step Alpha Vinyl increasing the pace and it wasn't long before the first GC hopefuls were dropped. Ben O'Connor, fourth last year, would lose over four minutes and he wasn't the only man to struggle. You have to believe in it for sure, but in first case you really need the legs. Mathieu van der Poel is distanced and that is a bit of a shock on a cobbled stage. Really enjoyed yesterday, stage win. Of course it gives confidence to, uh, to try it again today. Yellow jersey, Wild Van Aert is in a drop group. This is Jonas Vengegaard. Bike change for Jonas Vengegaard. Vengegaard with Wout van Aert. Panic stations at Jumbo Visma with Vingegaard needing several bike changes. The six leaders still had a couple of minutes on the main group where Tadej Pogacar had decided to make the most of Jumbo Visma's misfortunes. And things went from bad to worse for the Dutch squad as Primoz Roglic crashed and found himself isolated. Van Aert meanwhile waited for Vingegaard and buried himself to close the gap on Pogacar. Gujar is dropped from the front group. But the defending champion wasn't hanging about. An attack then of the white jersey on the wheel of Jasper Stuyven. Vingegaard and the Ineos leaders were still a minute down on Pogaccia, whose compatriot Roglic would be one of the day's biggest losers. This is Primoz Roglic. To me, looking at the position of Roglic on the bike... Yeah, he definitely doesn't look uh, very comfortable. And the van der Poel straight back onto him. In the end, Vingegaard managed to limit his losses thanks to a huge effort from his teammates, notably Van Aert. The breakaway, meanwhile, was set to contest the stage victory, with Kort burying himself for Paulus, who had a chance to take yellow. Pogacar and Stuyven didn't manage to reach the front, and after Court was dropped on the final cobbled sector, it was a four-man battle for the stage.
Simon Clark grits his teeth. Taco van der Horn right on the wheel. Clark, an experienced rider, the last signature on the thing. And oh! Oh! who got it? Simon Clark was the man who got it on a photo finish. Court coming in a few seconds later, and then Steuven and Pogacar at 51 seconds. The Van Aert and Vingegaard group arriving just 13 seconds later, meaning the Belgian kept hold of his yellow jersey. An incredible day. We said it would be chaotic. Well, that's exactly what we got. To win on the Tour de France at 35 years of age, that must be something. Yeah, I mean, uh, after the winter I had when I had no team, this morning I thought, you know, maybe today's the day. So, uh, yeah, I, st I still can't believe I got it on the line there. Taco was well ahead of me, even with less than 50 metres to go, and I was cramping both legs, and I just lined up the biggest throw I could possibly do, and I just prayed it was enough, and... Honestly, I, I still I need to watch the replay. I, I, don't, I don't still don't quite believe it. Believe it, Simon. You're a Tour de France stage winner. The Australian celebrating his seventh career victory by a whisker from Taco van der Horn. Van Aert kept hold of his yellow jersey while keeping Vingegaard within 21 seconds of Pogaccia. Roglic, though, is over two minutes down while Jack Haig abandoned after a crash. Van Aert still has a commanding lead over Fabio Jakobsen in the points classification. Court is now up to third. The Dane just can't get enough of the breakaway and he almost helped his teammate Paulus snatch yellow today. Pogacar all smiles after another demonstration. He really is the ultimate all-rounder. And the best all-round team is now the Ineos Grenadiers by a handful of seconds. The Cobbles always claim a high-profile victim, and today that was Primoz Roglic, not to mention Jack Haig. Vingegaard's GC challenge continues, but today will have taken its toll, and not just on the favourites, the Cobbles aren't for the faint of heart.